What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a, let's see here, picture from the Curiosity rover. Had a couple things going on there. Sorry about that. And instead of stopping and redoing it, we'll just keep on moving. Um, one of the best ones I've seen so far, I found this out on Facebook or on YouTube somewhere. There was somebody had done a whole video on this thing and uh, just this little area. When, when you see the whole picture it doesn't look like much but when you get into these uh, actual the symmetry of these blocks and what they look like and the carvings on them um, totally amazing some of the stuff and the color uh, what we're looking at right here looks to be some sort of mask or a bowl. I'm gonna pull this out here and let you take a look at it and uh, we're really going to take a good look at this area because there's a lot of anomalies. What looks to be a head here that's been kind of smashed. Uh, this almost looks like it was a huge statue at some point. Very symmetrical. Uh, looks like blocks, stands um, up here to the right. You, I mean also like very cut and grooved. Uh, things like this that almost look like snakes. Uh, cut on perfect angles. Um, more and more of those like that. Let's see here at the top what we find. I'm going to show you a couple more things up here because this is a very interesting pile. One of the most uh, interesting rock formations I've seen so far. What looks to be totally cut, totally shaped, um, down to the last little minuscule inch to it. What looks like could be organisms on here, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, just think this was just a totally awesomely like uh, sculpted place here. We're going to really get this into Photoshop here in a second and take a look at it. But look at the symmetry in these blocks and how perfectly placed they were. Uh, how even here where there's two separate blocks, how they both have the same carving that run down. Um, right here looks to be blurred out. I'm not sure why, but right there there's two circles. Um, and also that ridge continues down here look at these cuts look at this cut right here totally perfect totally carved totally around it beautiful these are 90 degree boxed out right there just this whole photo is just so amazing whoever found this uh, the first person that laid their eyes on this is, and brought this to light good for you I tell you what we've got stuff sticking out of the ground totally rounded things sculptures what looks to be this is like a dinner plate stuff along those lines and then when you come back to here and let me drop that temperature a little bit so it looks more like uh, ooh, what you would see on another planet it's just crazy. It almost looks like a mask. See, this was the one of those ceremonial masks that you would put on or the top of something. It's just very strange. A lot of people probably see something different out of that, um, however you want to see it. But you can also see the symmetry in here um, in the stuff next to it. So it all looks to be one, one statue that was busted up a long time. So let me show you. I think I didn't show you where I got it yet. Let's go to the here it's raw image as always I put it down below check the description box it will be there and uh, let's go back let's pull it up here at Photoshop see if we can't just do a little finagling with it real fast and where I want to start is um, you know let's start with down here with these anomalies let's just do this one to begin with and this one might go a little long. Sorry, guys. This is going to be probably my last one for the day. I might do a couple of the other ones later when I get up to the beach house. Just kind of relax. Also, it looked to be little shoes up here. Just to, just too cool. This whole, uh, you know, let's do this to start with. Okay. I'm in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is do something called Image, Auto Color, Auto Tone, and Auto Contrast. It's going to look at the picture and say what doesn't belong there, what needs to come out. And it really usually makes things look more like uh, here on Earth, especially these Mars photos. I believe they add that that puke brown tint to it. So I haven't done this yet, so hopefully that will go away and it will look more like rocks. Oh, there we are. There's some. Let me add the tone contrast and now we can really take a good look at it and see uh, see how much more it pops out now um, so let's take a look down here at some of these anomalies and see what we can come up with just in this area here this seems to be a much better okay so this first I said this uh, looks to be like some sort of statue or something that's been uh, knocked over there's there's all these little kind of like 
bars that run through it. But what really interests me here are is this here, which looks like it was some sort of leg or something that held something on. This right here, to me, that looks like it's see how it's got a circle, a line. It looks like some ceremonial headdress with eyes and, and maybe a long snout or something like that, or like it was part and it would be facing this way. The, the eyes to it or it's part of this machine right here see how this looks like to be a machine I'll show you exactly what I mean um, this is a circle and at the top of the circle there's a hole through it and it comes across and almost looks like a typewriter um, the other side also follows that same ridge you know see how it's got that right there if you went to the other side it's got the same thing and it's got the same divot that comes down here and it's got that same oop, the same pattern that comes around it and in the middle what looks to be some sort of keys now and if you follow that up here you've got these uh, very symmetrical looks like clamps something along those lines um, just a very anomalous area here and if, let's look at some of these other things up here I wonder if I can try and get that out as best as possible right here what would happen if I if I did some more of these, uh, just a couple other filters. Let's do image uh, exposure. See what we come up with. Bring the gamma. looking at the presets see what we come up with very interesting spot I must say and over here too see how like this looks like a decent rock but it's got these two things at the bottom um, a lot of these just have the symmetry it look like two by fours that have been cut out um, now what do you think about this here this is a, a lot for one picture I could have probably made three or four different so see look at how all these rocks just are perfectly cut like they were all placed somewhere at one time a lot of them have uh, like right here this was a circle have a lot of these circles in them um, this right here does look cool it looks like it could have been a head and actually it's kind of freaky creepy if you look it almost looks like this was a head right it looks like it's bear with me here's some hair it looks like this side of his skull was bashed out oh I hate to even say that and head is cut off and here's like the stuff that's just dripping out of it um, just to be kind of weird here let's make it a little gory for us today right image layer new from background I'm not gonna do too much of this I'll let you guys go after this but I just wanted to do a couple couple cute little things here make this guy just a little bloody see if that what it looks like to you I just see it in my head I was looking at this last night it's kinda late and I just thought it was kinda interesting and all these like little trinkets next to it too but let's see what we got here so and then let's just drop that dropping that down so you can see through it so it's just a little red and then let's make our our guy green since he's on a since he's on Mars and we all know that Martians come yeah you know, we've got green Martians up there so it's gotta be where he comes from since we're, we definitely know the rovers on Mars because the government told us it was there and I will like to believe that and I'm being a little facetious but let's see if we drop the fill now <laughs> so you see what I was saying there I don't know if you see that or not but to me that's just kinda creepy that's kind of cool. Just these guys here. Now let's go back up here real fast. Take a real quick look here. See if I can't get this to pop any more adjustments. Um, you know what could happen if I did some of these? See how I like, say it's just so perfect how and it's just lightly going on there. Just how these all are. You know, look how the green just blends in. How the cuts look to be perfect. Like this was really planned out. See, there's another perfect cut um, and it's something you know what if another planet just smashed into this planet there's war maybe there was a explosion maybe there was nuclear bombs this here was kind of cool this looked to be a bunch of toes to me like a giant's foot or something along the line and I'm just totally speculate with what I do here though and uh, this could be sheet metal this this doesn't have to be rock you know I don't know I always equivalent this stuff to rock but you know very well could be sheet metal this right here could even be concrete it could be poured 
this over here does seem to be boxed in. See how this is like that? And this looks to have a purple. So I didn't color that, so that seems to be purple right there. Now, I've also noticed the new Rover pictures have a slight tint of color to it. See how they've got this purple and the green that kind of goes through the whole uh, picture? I've noticed that on them. Um, couple times and this over here was kind of cool too if you want to get in there and look real tight at it um, I'm gonna let you guys know for now uh, enjoy <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this one this was kind of cool he said I think that definitely we have an anomaly here something there something here let me paint that guy a little bit more green um, these are just to me look like they could all fit together like some machinery at one time or just a beautiful sculpture so much love guys take it easy i let this run a little long let me see where it went 10 minutes oh i'm sorry guys much love